Well, good day, viewers. This is uh, my setup that I've come up with to be able to cut a 64 tooth 24 pitch gear on my lathe with the new version 2 um, gear cutting attachment. Basically, it's a piece of 3 8 plate, 3 inches long, and approximately 2 inches wide. It's it mounts in the vise, and then the uh, plate is bolted to the bottom of the gear cutting attachment with two quarter inch bolts. It seems to be fairly sturdy, rigid, and uh, doing a nice job. Basically, there's where I'm at with my 64 tooth gear I'm working on, and same deal using the power feed for the cross slide. This does space the center of the shaft out approximately 7 eighths of an inch more from uh, where the center of the cross slide is, but at the same time it's still closer than uh, where the first gear cutting attachment I was using would be, it would be at about here. And I'm also using the arbor with the extension. And I've got a bushing made up in here so that the tailstock can't push the cutter in any further. And right now we're going to try and do another pass here. So I just got to uh, advance the... Tooth one, which that should be it. Mm, not quite tight enough. Just going to set you down. There we got her snugged up so she doesn't move. And we'll tighten this one up. Start to lay it up. And we'll feed in at the usual 43%. Here I went back to the regular shaft because it's shorter and works fine. I did make up a second new shaft that I'll use for smaller tooth gears where things get a little close. Still the same uh, bit of noise, chatter, whatever you want to call it, as the uh, working gauges. But uh, once the cutter gets fully engaged, things quiet down. I forgot to put a little bit of oil on there for cutting. And here, I don't know how the camera's hearing, but for me it's pretty well quiet. Very little, if any, movement. A little bit of uh, movement up here, which this is free to float type of thing because of the uh, backlash. The carriage is locked from the uh, milling attachment. Basically, we're getting uh, about halfway there on this pass. Nothing's really bouncing around. And looking at the teeth, I'm thinking I'm getting a pretty good uh, gear out of this. Time will tell. We'll see how it looks when I'm done. And I'm still using the marks inside of the cross slide to uh, determine when to stop it. Got about another quarter of an inch to go. Pretty well through. But 
And right there, I'd say we're pretty well done cutting. So I'm going to stop the uh, power feed and bring it back out. And then we'll crank her up to 100%. Just got done with the last pass on the 64 tooth gear. So we're going to unlock the, the uh, spindle and raise the dog up and give her a spin around and have a look, see at how things are looking. And from what I'm seeing, it looks promising. Have to get her off there and get her cleaned up. And we'll see what she looks like. So here we have the uh, 64 tooth gear that I just got done cutting, cleaned up, and teeth look really good to me, quite happy with it, and before when I first started making the gear sets, I had made up a space uh, bracket that uh, was going to use a 64 tooth gear engaged with a 24 tooth gear. Before I found out there were 56 tooth gears that were used originally. But this bracket is within 10 thou of being right for these theoretical centers. So I put the 24 tooth gear that I cut uh, with the new gear cutter on there. And I put this uh, new 64 tooth gear that I just made. And basically you can see that uh, backlash looks fairly good. Might be a little bit loose, but that's okay. But uh, things are meshing quite nicely without having uh, problems binding and without having to file things or turn the gear down. This 64 tooth gear, the ideal, uh, the theoretical OD should be 2.750 and this one is 2.747 is what I turned the blank to. So that gave me approximately three thou deeper cut because I cut 90 thou from touch off. Now I found on the internet where there appears to be two different uh, depths, what they call the hole depth, meaning the depth of tooth. The books that I have been using show it as 0 0.899 Nine, so basically 90 thou and the gear cutters that I'm using for the 24 pitch gears have 90 thou marked on them but the uh, I have found a few websites where you can calculate the gear sizes and they say the whole depth should be 0 0.9 uh, 0 0.093 seven which is basically another three thou deeper not a big deal but I'm thinking the three thou that I gave this gear less than what it theoretically should be isn't hurting anything given that the uh, gear lash looks good everything's engaging nicely and I think my idea of making the blanks just about three thousand smaller is working out quite nicely. I think it's going to work out for all of them. We'll see. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Hello, viewers. Uh, basically, this is my new shaft for the gear cutting attachment version two. I've extended. The rear of it and also turn the uh, thread down to 5 16 coarse from 3 8 that I was using on the first shaft 
this will let me use a 5 16 hex nut which is basically half inch across the flats so if I ever wanted to cut a 16 tooth gear I think I could get away with it I made up a sleeve here that uh, basically will slide over the 3 8 portion of the shaft and then basically if I had a gear here I can tighten the nut up if I have to make the gear 5 16 on the inside I can mount it on the thread and then uh, basically I'll uh, use the bushing sleeve and a washer at this end and then I can still use the nut not quite as centered being as I'm mounting on the threads but uh, I think it'll work out okay if I ever have to do that but this should let me cut a 22 gear fine because basically I've moved the distance from here from where the gear sits by about three quarters of an inch and I can also add some shim washers here or spacers to move the gear further out if necessary.